Hello again, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about lateral inhibition and how lateral inhibition impacts the olfactory system in addition to how it um, compares to impacting the visual system. So just to start off, I just want to talk about how lateral inhibition with the olfactory system kind of differentiates um, the ability of our bodies to sense high concentrations of something versus low concentrations of something. So for an example of this, let's say you are in the wild and you smell a predator. But since the predator is really far away, you only have a, um, a, a, little, a, a very small sense of the predator. Now, as you get closer to the predator, the, um, s the smell will continue to increase. And this increase is, can be attributed to lateral inhibition. In addition to this, we can get the, find the example of, you know, let's say you're in an elevator and someone put on a lot of cologne. Now, usually the cologne in small concentrations would smell pretty good. However, if someone overwhelms themselves with cologne, it's probably not going to smell the best and it's probably going to make you want to leave the elevator. So now getting to more of the, you know, molecular side of um, lateral inhibition, we can look at the picture. So with this picture, we see that the olfactory receptor neurons kind of go to the glomeruli, but then we have periglomular cells, or what are called P cells. And what these P cells do is they um, release interneurons, and these interneurons kind of act, act to inactivate or inhibit uh these mitral cells and what these these mitral cells will eventually lead to you know higher processing in the brain so in low concentrations um you know maybe these um p cells will be you know less in, are um less activated and less activation this will allow for you know um more activation of these you know mitral cells but with higher concentrations there could be um more p cells being activated and this can um lead to more inhibit inhibitory interneurons being released and different mitral cells being activated and therefore you know a different um processing in the brain of uh, you know and we could kind of attribute this to the combinatorial system where there's um different mitral cells being activated different combinations leading to different um overall processing occurring so what this kind of leads to is there's, you know, an increase, increase in the discrimination of power of between, you know, high concentration of an odorant versus a low concentration of the odorant. So this kind of, this leads to the, you know, the sharpening of responses, which is very similar to what we see in um, the visual system where we have horizontal cells being acting as, you know, the um, inhibitory interneuron. And those release onto the synapses between the photoreceptor cells and the bipolar cells. And this can in turn um, activate different uh, or cause a different amount of variation in the activation of RGCs or retinal ganglion cells. So it's also important to note that, you know, the timing of mitral cell um, activity can kind of differentiate between what is going to happen and what's going to process between there being, you know, a different timing of activation with a different temporal code or, you know, a different spatial code being activated, which is what the combinatorial um, code kind of lends itself to, you know, kind of explain it. So this is just a general overview of lateral inhibition and how it impacts the olfactory system and a little snippet on how it impacted the visual system. Thank you. So uh, just to add on to uh, what I said before, just to clarify, so the P cells and the also the horizontal cells in the visual system, so these two cells don't actually release inhibitory interneurons because they are actually interneurons, but they're le releasing inhibitory neurotransmitters, which then will affect the mitral cells with, within the um, olfactory system and within the visual system, they'll affect the uh, bipolar cells. So that was just a little clarification on that. Thank you.